contour of your body. Push it in over here. We're not trying to hurt your purpose. We're just trying to get it to it. So it will fit through the core of the machine. You're not going into the scammer. Just move me in a little bit to see the lasers that we have. Putting these pieces of tape on, we're going to mark them with the lasers so we can line up, line up the bag itself so we can make sure the bag is straight when we actually get in. So we're going to have you go ahead and get up and out of the bag, and that way we can put some little BBs in the back of the bag so they can see exactly where you're laying for positioning and for the CT. Okay? Uh, Eric has a little stool here for you. We'll help you up. Give me an arm. And it's kind of hard to get out of. It's kind of like getting out of a canoe. You could use so, this. It's really hard now. Yeah. Very nice dismal. Okay. okay, and you can take a seat if you want in the meantime. We're just going to be adjusting it here back to where we had you when we put the little marks on the side of the bag. Is that on? Okay. okay. Lined up longitudinally to this BB and we made sure that it's on left to right. And then we put a BB in the center of both lasers, and we put one above and one below. And that's it. So now we can get you back on. I can pause it or make it be you know. Does that feel right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll continue. Are you filming again? Just, I'm just filming some cutaways. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're just pulling here, just make the bag pull out. We won't cover too much of you, just your lower half here. Nothing above your stomach. Some of it might get on your face, but we're not going to keep it there. And the bottom of this is closed in, and what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there. Actually, let's flip it right to here and then flip it down. Okay. We're just going to connect the bottom of it first, and then we'll connect the sides later. Try not to tickle your toes, sorry. Now squeeze it. Okay. You can just pull your hand out now. Perfect. Thank you. It's okay. Come on. Yeah. So this hose just is what sucks the air out. This is a brand new sleeve, so it's nice and clean. So you might feel, when we turn it on, you might feel the air kind of blowing past you, being sucked out, but that's all you feel. It might be a little bit cold. We're just tucking it in here. So, real there we go. And I'm going to connect the hose from the machine that sucks the air out. We want to suck the air out of the bag to get it to start for the vacuum part. We press start here. And that will suck, start the air sucking and it starts at 20 and we want to move it up until, as long as the patient is still comfortable, until 70. And that's usually good. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit more. 
Yeah, it's 750 millibars. That's where I was at. Yeah, it's 70. Yeah, the bag itself went in the bag. The BB part of the bag is BB. And that doesn't show it on there. I'm going to put it on the floor. Okay. Pretending like this isn't her rib case that we're pressing down on. Oh, this one's not long enough. Ah, you're so skinny. It makes this a lot more work for me. So then I screw it down. Tell me that when you're ready. Yeah, okay. I screw it down until I get to a point that is good for the patient and for us for compression. And right now it's at 150. Depends on each patient and according to how much stuff you have.